Hi, good morning, Junior K friends and families, and happy Monday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend this past weekend. It was beautiful both days. I hope you were able to get outside and play. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. We are kicking off Ocean Animals and Mother's Day week this week. So let's start off with our weekend news on Monday. I can't wait to hear what you guys have done this weekend. It was an awesome weekend, wasn't it? So here's my weekend news. I colored in my crab and my octopus. And I put Miss Cunningham. Today is May 4th, 2020. So I wrote, this weekend I went to the Stillwater Riverfront Park. It's about 20 minutes away from my house, and there was so many fun things at this park, my friends. They had a track that I went around. Um, they had the Hudson River in the background. They had all sorts of trees and picnic tables set up. So there's me. I went around the track um, about two laps, and I relaxed by the Hudson River. So that's what I did this weekend. My Junior K friends, I can't wait to see one thing that you did this weekend. So your homework, Junior K buddies, is to complete your weekend news and send me a picture or a video of you explaining your weekend news. One thing that you did this past weekend. Okay, time to kick things off. Miss Cunningham brought a special friend from our classroom. I'm sure you know who he is. Here he comes. Bottom, bottom, bum, 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 bum. It's Gilbert. Can you say hi to Gilbert? Hello, everyone. Gilbert is here to join us for our story to kick off Ocean Animals Week. Okay? We are going to be reading the story, Gilbert the Great. It's a story by Jane Clark and Charles Fugue. Gilbert the Great. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Remora stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always at Gilbert's side. They were best buddies. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the Tooth Fairy. That's a nice friend. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun together. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Then, one day, Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. I don't want to go, but Mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mother hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. So his friend is moving away. Isn't that sad, Gilbert? Yeah, he's my best friend. Oh, no. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said Mom, but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It will keep your mind off Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friend. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He's moved too far away, said Mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the ba that basketball game. The Thrashing Threshers are playing the title Tigers. Who do you want to win? Gilbert looked around. There were remoras everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. Oh, he's sad. There he is, all sad, swimming away. It's my fault Raymond moved, Gilbert snapped as he passed an eel. Last week, I called him a sucker. 
You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom smiled. Everyone fights sometimes. The clownfish did their best to cheer Gilbert up, but nothing could make him smile. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him an extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin the mallet. There are plenty of fish in the sea. But there isn't another like Raymond, said Gilbert. They're all trying to cheer him up. Gilbert was still sulking when Mom came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried, and his warm tears mingled with the cold ocean water. It's so sad. He lost his best friend. He moved away. The next morning, Mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and towed him into shallow water, which is water that isn't deep. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out at the seahorse and the bright blue sky. I hope Raymond's new home is as nice as this, said Gilbert. I'm sure it is, said Mom. I'm hungry, Gilbert said suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, said Mom. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mom didn't like him eating junk food. <laughs> Scrunch, munch, crunch. As Gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and bits of old boat, he spotted a small remora crying in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. A remora just like his buddy. What's the matter? Gilbert asked. Mom and I moved and I had to leave my shark behind, she sobbed. Now I don't have any friends. My remora had to move too, said Gilbert sadly. I'm so lonely. Gilbert and the remora looked at each other and smiled wobbly smiles. I'm Gilbert said Gilbert. I'm Rita, replied the remora. Just then a ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin, huge smile. Do you want to play finball with me, Rita? He asked. Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to, she said, and the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with. The end. There they are, swimming off together. What'd you think of that story, Gilbert? I thought it was great. Good job, Miss Cunningham. Gilbert's going to be with us this week. So that was our first book that we read based on ocean animals. Tomorrow we are going to learn a little bit about Cinco de Mayo. Okay my friends, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. See if you can get outside today. It's supposed to be nice and sunny. Have a great Monday my friends. I miss you. Bye!